So we left a week and a day before Easter and drove about, what, six hours, six and a half? Mm Mm-hmm. Down to Panama City Beach, which is where Monica's parents live. Shouts out Sal and Cheryl. They listen to the podcast. They do. They'll be stoked. They will be stoked. So yes, we went down there to visit them. They moved down there in what? November? October? November-ish. Yeah, right before Thanksgiving. So they've been there for about six months and this was our first time visiting. Yeah. Super fun. Neither of us had... Well, you had been to that part of florida and i didn't fully remember it which is weird but yeah and i'd only ever been to orlando and sarasota so it was fun i really liked panama city beach and then after a couple days we drove even further and went down to sarasota and if you're not sure we'll enlighten you it is a six hour drive (laughs) from panama city beach to sarasota We were under the impression that it was going to be like three hours, maybe four. And we don't know why we were under that impression. Like nobody, it was one of those things where like, we never talked about it. We never looked. We were just like, yeah, three, four hours. I think you and I both, I think we talked about it and we were like, yeah, it's three hours. I have no idea. we both were like, yep, great. That's it. We never checked it. And so it was literally when we pulled up to your parents house we got out of the car and her dad was like so excited you know talking to us about how the drive was all that he was like oh and you're like halfway there and i being me was like a little bit further than halfway because my brain is so particular i was like nah but it's like we only have three hours you know we're two-thirds of the way there actually and he was like I don't know who told you that. <laughs> yeah, we, he roasted us for that one. We both looked at each other and we're like, what do you mean? And he was like, it's like at least six hours. And I, me being me was like, I bet I can drive it faster. It was and not faster. Not. I drove it in exactly six hours. Did we say why we drove to Sarasota too? It was to see friends And my grandparents live in that part of Florida. And so my mom actually rode with us halfway through our trip to Sarasota so that she could see her family and we could go hang out with our friends that live there. And so the plans were already made. It's not like we could just be like, oh, sorry, guys, never mind. We're not coming. It's farther than we thought. Like we still had to make the drive because it was we planned it. We were looking forward to it. It was just it kind of threw a wrench in our plans, but it wasn't a huge deal. It was just kind of funny that we both just thought it was three hours away. Yeah, because it basically, we basically lost like a good half day each direction that we had planned to have, you know? But it's fine. It was fine. It It wasn't a big deal. It was all part of the journey. It was. It just like the, the day we drove to Sarasota, we'd planned to like, hang out in Panama City Beach for another day and drive down that afternoon. And instead we were like, let's get up at five and drive the whole way. Yeah, because so. six hours versus three hours is just an entirely different ballpark to me. Like that's entering really the territory is. of like stir crazy, get me out of this car. Whereas I feel like three hours, it's like, oh, fun. We'll listen to a playlist, a yeah. podcast, talk a little bit, eat a snack. You're there. Yeah. Yeah. Six hours. Once you pass four hours, you're pretty ready to no longer be in a car. Mm -hmm. And especially on a trip like that, like by the time we were coming back to Panama City Beach, we'd already done 12 hours in a car over like in the past week. So we didn't have much else to talk about. I'm pretty sure like the last two drives like the drive from sarasota back to my parents house and then the drive from my parents house back to nashville we like did not talk yeah it was pretty silent drives but it wasn't like anything weird it was just like we there's there's nothing to say yeah we'll just drive (laughs) which works out when you leave as early as we did because it's like all right cool we're not It's 5 a.m. No one wants to talk right now. No one really wants to talk. No one's feelings are hurt. No one feels uncomfy about it. And then you both like it hits 9 a.m. Or like, yeah, like even 7 or 8 a.m. You've been like, cool, I've been driving for two or three hours. 
now I'm ready to talk. We still didn't. I was like, well, I'm pretty sure like the first thing I said was like three hours into our drive. And I said, can we get Starbies? Yes, that is that is correct. Yeah, we had a lot of Starbies (laughs) on this trip. It was great. We did. But yeah, so that was our I mean, that was the least interesting part of our trip. But unfortunately, a big part of the trip was a lot of driving. It was. 